Music is an art form that is characterized by the expression of harmony through vocal and instrumental sounds. It is ubiquitous across all cultures and the human species have been using music throughout our history. The question is, why do we like music? This question and so much more will be covered in this video. Welcome to Sight. Our interaction with music is quite complicated. We often tend to listen to music in a wide number of different social contexts and the music that we listen to will depend on, for instance, our current emotional state, personal experiences, and of course our culture. The music that we enjoy will also depend on our preferences. Music preference has been researched quite extensively and has for example been linked with personality traits. Research has for instance shown that different music genres are associated with various personality traits. Multiple studies have found that classical music and jazz music, along with rock and heavy metal, are positively associated with the personality trait openness to new experiences. Rap and hip-hop music, along with pop music and dance music, has mainly been positively associated with the personality traits extraversion and agreeableness. Taken together, this research shows that music is not something we merely listen to in a passive manner. Instead, it is something that we truly identify with and are drawn towards. Despite this very interesting research, the question remains, why do we even listen to, yet alone enjoy music to begin with? To answer this question, there are several different potential explanations. One potential explanation for why we like music focuses on the cognitive functions of music. According to this explanation, music is used as a means of self-reflection, self-socialization, and communication. When it comes to self-reflection, music is for instance used as a way to reminisce about old memories or to appreciate the music itself as an art form. Self-socialization, which is typically used by adolescents, involves using music as a means to see your own problems and issues mirrored and possibly solved in the music. Music may also be used to express different sides of your personality through different genres of music. Music can also be used as a communication tool in which we express our personal identity and values. We can also try to establish contact with others through music. In this sense, music can also be used as a bonding tool. Another potential explanation takes a more social and cultural perspective. According to this explanation, music is used not only to express our own identity, but to express the identity and values of the country that we're from, or the culture or subculture that we are part of. Yet another potential explanation for why we listen to music is that it serves an emotional function. Specifically, music can be used to express, induce, change, strengthen, or mitigate emotions. Research on this topic shows that music indeed can serve as a good emotion regulator. Related to the previous explanation on emotions, yet another potential explanation for why we listen to music has to do with the physiological arousal that is accompanied by music. For instance, when we listen to music that we really enjoy, we may experience strong subjective feelings such as chills, tingling, and goosebumps. These feelings are typically perceived as pleasant. In addition to these positive subjective experiences, studies have also shown that people may show increased physiological responses when listening to enjoyable music. These physiological responses include increased heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing. This research lends further credence to the idea that music is not only associated with emotions, there is also physiological arousal involved when we listen to music that is pleasurable. The explanations provided thus far provide several different reasons for why we find music so enjoyable. However, when discussing music and the way we interact with it, it is also imperative to look at the evolutionary roots of musical behavior. This is especially true given how far back we as a species have enjoyed music. Research on the evolutionary basis of music has not only focused on why we enjoy listening to music, but also on why we even produce music to begin with. In one study conducted by Kutz, Ravignani, and Fitch, different aspects of music and rhythm behavior were delineated. These different aspects may have different evolutionary roots. Thus, when we discuss the evolutionary roots behind why we enjoy music, 
it is important that we do so by looking at these different aspects of music separately. The first aspect of music behavior that we will look at is motor periodicity. This refers to the quasi-periodic execution of any repetitive action. An example of a quasi-periodic repetitive action would be the production of a beat or a melody. Beating periodically on resonant objects to make rhythmic sounds, like drumming, is quite unique. It is a behavior that is only seen in humans, in some primates like chimpanzees and gorillas, and in a few rodents and birds. Given that this ability is present in both humans and in chimpanzees and gorillas, it is suggested that this ability evolved in our last common ancestor about 10 million years ago. The second aspect of music behavior that we will address here is beat extraction. This refers to the perceptual inference of a pulse or a beat, given a repetitive stimulus that is often acoustic. Neuroscience research has linked this perceptual inference to brain regions that are associated with production and output of movement. This includes regions such as the basal ganglia and the cerebellum. The capacity to perceptually infer beats is quite common among mammals and birds. In non-human primates, the ability to perceptually infer beats seems to rely on similar neural mechanisms. This suggests that the basic machinery behind this ability was present in our common ancestor about 25 million years ago, if not earlier. The third aspect of music behavior that we will cover in this video is audio-motor entrainment. This refers to the ability to synchronize our motor actions to the inferred beat. An example of this would be dancing or playing an instrument along to a beat. The ability to synchronize your motor actions to an inferred beat in this manner seems to be quite a complex behavior. The current research on the evolutionary roots of this aspect of music behavior is inconclusive. While some research shows that this aspect of music behavior is shared with some other animals, like parrots, there is no solid evidence as of yet that this ability is present in most other bird or mammal species other than humans. Taken together, this research on the evolutionary roots behind musical behavior reveals that music is a very complicated behavior with a complicated evolutionary trajectory. Furthermore, the research discussed in this video also shows that music indeed serves an important function in our lives. So, the question is, why do we like music? Well, the answer to this question is likely a combination of the explanations provided earlier in this video. We like music because it allows us to express our personal identity and it allows us to establish contact with others. Music can also be used as a mood regulator and it can make us feel good. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video.